I'm 14 years old and people keep telling me to get a normal job. Like any sane person is going to tell a 14 year old to get a job, but that's besides the point. Anyway, back to the dramatic scene. But what they don't realize is I'm different. Alright, that intro was obviously a joke. <laughs> I hope you liked it though, because it took a long time to make, so yeah, I hope you uh, found that funny. But yeah, enough silliness, let's actually get on to a more serious note. Alpha male kids, it is a topic and a half to talk about. The amount of young teenagers trying to chase success and, you know, basically copy Andrew Tate is getting more and more popular, exponentially popular. Everywhere you go, you see them. Cody Ko has done a video on them. Every second Instagram reel is a teenager trying to get popular. And before I continue speaking about this topic, I just want to preface this video by saying that this video is not a hate video by any means. It's not an attack to anyone. This isn't meant to offend anyone at all. This is all coming out of love. This is all just my opinion. And if I received this, I would take it as constructive criticism. And trust me, I believe that chasing success at a young age is a very, very good thing that not a lot of people have, especially young teenagers. However, the way, like, you know, alpha male kids are portraying themselves on the internet is is a little bit questionable. I feel like there's a lot of shit that gets said all around the internet, like, you know, so it's the most polarizing group by far. So I just want to put my stance on this and see what you guys think. So the first concern that I have with alpha male kids, and I feel like the concern that a lot of people have along with me, is that they're not going to have a childhood. So I'm 16 years old, going on 17 in about four months, and I started doing YouTube <laughs> at like 12 years old, so that's really the first time I put myself on the internet, but I wasn't, the content that I was making was like gaming videos, it was like, I was playing fucking Bloons TD, and I, I had a screen recorder, and I would screen record Bloons TD and then upload it on the internet, that, that's what I was doing at 12 years old. But there's 12 year olds um, right now, who are basically mini Andrew Tates, Andrew Tate disciples, if you would say. And they are saying some very questionable stuff. Not only saying, but also very, doing very questionable things as well. So, the most common, I would say, like, videos that these alpha male kids do is uploading kind of like a day in the life video of themselves. So they basically, they'll record themselves from the beginning of their day to the end of their day. And they'll basically say, you know, what they did. And the routine that these kids, like, they at least say that they have is very concerning because they like they literally like they say that they go to school from like let's say whatever 8 30 to 3 30 and the in in brackets they say matrix oh my god now i agree school is not for some people i understand that it's not for me personally i don't like you know enjoy school a lot i, ha I obviously go every single day but it's not something that i'm very fond of but i definitely don't think it's the matrix i mean it's Obviously, Andrew Tate says that a lot, and now these kids have literally adopted that mindset, which kind of just so shows you how much influence Andrew Tate has over, you know, these kids. But yes, kids at such a young age, 12, 13, 14 years old, thinking that school is, is the matrix is just insane. So yeah, this is their childhood. It's not, you know, oh, going to school to, you know, have fun with your friends. It's instead going to school and labeling it the matrix. That's like the main concern that I see. And this is just one example out of many, many examples. Like, you know, kids like their age, you know, we would like ride bikes, we would play video games, you know, we would have fun. And instead, some, some kids are literally calling their friends like degenerates at the age of like 14 years old. Like, again, chasing success at a young age is fine, but you should also have fun because Think about like the depressed millionaire, for example. When you reach the success that you want, but you didn't have fun along the way, you're not gonna feel happy. That's just how it is. If I, if I got successful right now, if I got like a million subscribers, but I didn't have fun while getting those million subscribers, and I was depressed every day, I was overworking, didn't see my family at all, didn't see my, any of my friends or anything. Yeah, then I would, I wouldn't enjoy being at a million subscribers. I'd be like, okay. Wow, cool, I got a million subscribers, but I still feel like shit. And that's exactly what's gonna happen to these kids. They're going to, you know, become a millionaire by age 14 or whatever, or whatever they claim that they're going to be. And once they reach that goal, they're not going to feel successful or happy at all. If you don't rinse your childhood before it's over, you'll look back with a lot and a lot of regret. 
it's all it, it seems like common sense but like when you actually start chasing success you have to keep that in your mind you can't just you know throw fun out the way because like oh you know i can't hang out with my family because that's not aligning with the goal of becoming a millionaire like yes it is be like when you become a millionaire you have to still be happy that's your number your my number one priority has to be mental health and i feel like a lot of people like andrew tate and a lot of self-improvement channels say like you know no no just focus on the goal focus on business focus on business but it's like you need to focus on other things as well that's i think the biggest concern that a lot of people are having with um you know these kids and yeah it's it's sad and i definitely understand the sentiment of some of these people who are saying like yeah you know you're, you need to still live as a child you need to live your childhood you can't just you know <laughs> be manipulated by andrew tate to just work every single day at the age of 14 like that's just not good Real quick, I was editing this video and um, there is another like kind of big problem with alpha male kids and a lot of these kids who like, you know, post their um, their progress on social media saying how much money they want and how their day in life and how much money they, they desire for themselves in the future. One big problem with that is that it doesn't seem like they have passion when they do it. It just kind of seems like they're doing it only for the money and of course that's kind of a problem because people can see right through that they're not doing what they're doing for passion they're not passionate about it they don't like it they're just doing it for the money you need to actually have passion about what you're doing to be able to do it for the rest of your life anyway that's just what i wanted to point out while i was editing this video back to the video with that being said they are still teenagers they're young teenagers especially most of these people aren't even over the age of like 14 or 15. And when I was a 15 year old, I was dumb. I was very stupid. And you can probably see that from some of my older videos. These are extremely, extremely impressionable kids. Like any, like, you know, all, obviously all kids are very, very impressionable. They see something that they like and then they'll dedicate their life to it. That's every single teenager, that's nothing new. And it's unfortunate for them. They're not bad people, obviously they're not bad people. They're just unlucky because of the fact that instead of seeing something that would actually, you know, they, they can look back at and have, you know, and ha laugh at and have good memories with when they were a child, they instead are dealing with Andrew Tate and other self-improvement YouTubers like that. It's very unlucky and it's very unfortunate for them. So the next time someone, you know, or you watching this video, I, don't, I mean, I highly doubt that you do this, but like, hopefully not. The next time you decide to berate these kids online on, on like Instagram especially and you know leave like a horrible comment or like just like a mean comment in general just think twice because obviously again these are kids <laughs> I get it like yes they're not doing they could, this is not the best for them obviously like this is very bad for them but at the end of the day they're still kids so let's still you know I've seen a lot of bad comments, so let's just not be mean. How about that? I think it's more of an Instagram thing than, you know, alpha male kids thing, but yeah. I feel like some of the comments are way too far, and yeah, just just treat everyone with respect. They're, they'll figure it out eventually. They're only kids. So, yeah. That's really all I have to say. Comment down below what you think. This video was just basically saying what I think. Again, this is no way in shape a hate video or a offend, you know, I'm not trying to offend anyone. This is just simply what I think, and yeah, you can comment down below whether you think I'm wrong, I'm right, whatever you think, just put it in the comments below. My only concern is that the uh, hate comments that these kids get is a bit too far, so yeah. Check out this video right here, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next video.